Aquarius, hi. Welcome to your reading. How does this person feel about you? This is a um, series of general and timeless uh, love tarot readings for everyone, for singles and people in the connection. Um, and in this reading, as usual, uh, we are going to see not only how the person that you have in mind Aquarius feels about you, but also this person's intention and sort of next steps or action they may take towards you. Aquarius, I hope you are well, whatever you are in the world. And now let's focus on the energy. How does this person feel about the Aquarius? How does this person feel about the Aquarius? How does this person feel about Aquarius? How does this person feel? Page of Wands, King of Wands, Four of Wands, and another page, Page of Pentacles. Um, so I feel that um, I might be talking to people that are currently in a relationship, they may have children, um, and this person, um, strong fire sign, Aries, Leo, such, is um, very sort of passionate and in, in invested, I would say, in this connection. Um, these two pages would have been um, children if you are um, a couple and have family. Um, you, with the Four of Wands and King of Wands, I feel this person really is um, very content when, where you are at, guys. They are focused on children. For those of you that are not in a relationship or don't have children um, there is a an energy of stability and um, commitment and I feel um, for those of you as I said that are not yet in in um, sort of exclusive connection or um, not yet married or engaged I feel this person is thinking about that um, I feel for those of you, this um, page of wands, uh, the king of wands is kind of looking at page of wands. I feel this person um, might be some sort of having a communication, talking. There are this, these are news about um, stability. These are news about engaging or moving in or um, simply saying let's date exclusively. This is what the four of ones for me here is um, for you guys okay let's see a little bit more okay we've got a devil so um Devil is a very strong attachment. Um, so let's see a little bit more. What are this person's intentions for? Aquarius. Intention. Go. We've got um, a very strong sort of desire to have a family. Um, the Devil and the Ten of Pentacles. I really feel that this person um,
wants to create a family, they definitely are um, very intensely with the devil. They really want this stability. I do, I am getting children as well. Um, now there is a lot of major arcana we've got here, Hermit and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Justice as well. I'm, I'm feeling that with the Justice, you know, and the Hermit right next to it, this person has, has had time to think about it, um, to think about the responsibilities of family. Um, and what it means and I feel this is with the justice here I feel this person is quite serious about um, stepping into that next level and again depending on where you are at um, this is the next level that I'm talking about so this person um, you know they, they are intending to to do it the right way they they are sort of committing themselves to do some um, learning in regards to how to um, how to you know be a parent how to maintain relationship. This is what I'm getting with this too. Um, simply because I also have justice right next to it. So there is there is this intention from this person to really be serious. They are um, very strongly attached to this longing um, to build this, this stability with you. We've got it here from the beginning. This person wants to have a relationship with you. They, they want you to be their life partner. That's what I'm getting, Aquarius. And children, if you have been watching from the beginning of the reading, children are definitely in the picture for this person. And I am seriously getting that this person with the hermit will be um, putting in an effort to learn how to be a, part, a, a, a good parent, etc. Wow, very... Um, I don't want to say it, but it's a fairly um, straightforward reading, Aquarius. You could be dealing with Capricorn, or Virgo, or Libra, another fellow Sagittarius, or Aries and Leo. Let's see what are this person's next steps. This person's next steps, and we've got something here. We've got three of swords, we've got four of swords, seven of cups and ace of cups. Okay, we've got a mix of energies here. Three of swords, four of swords and seven of cups. Um, I'm getting that if This is a painful sort of illusion or dream, dream that brings pain. Um, for those of you that you know are nowhere near this, I feel this person is really going to um, have a painful sort of this we have three of swords four of swords and seven of cups to me it feels that this person is going to um, really sort of dream this is dreaming this is visualizing this um, relationship with you and also this future with you Because of the Ace of Cups here, uh, the presence of this, I do feel this is more sort of 
um, a message definitely for those of you that yes <laughs> they are nowhere near you know nowhere near that sort of next level building foundation for for you know um, relationship this person is going to be heavily dreaming about this This is like literally daydreaming and it, like it is an illusion, right? I feel this person is going to be daydreaming and that's what's going to bring pain because it feels like I am talking to some of you that are nowhere near this stability yet. Yet this person really um, wants this family, this relationship with you. This is daydreaming. Why is this three of swords here? I'm going to clarify. Why is this three of swords here for? Wow, look at this. King of Cups. This person really, really has strong feelings. King of Cups is a clarifier for this three of swords. This person has strong romantic feelings, um, and as I said, to me, this is this is really like in the next couple of weeks, your person um, Aquarius is going to be daydreaming about this family with you, the future with you. This is what I'm getting. They are going to be daydreaming about this connection, a family future, the next level. This is them dreaming. you can see it really well and the reason why is because they um, they have really strong feelings for you okay hmm let's um, pull some extra messages Aquarius. It has to be without you, so perhaps um, some of you are not yet in a committed relationship. I want to go on an adventure with you. I'm very passionate. They want to spend time with you I want to fight for this love I feel this is them just really really wanting to protest this connection um, I want to go on an adventure I really do feel this person is very attracted um, they are attracted and they basically are very passionate with the King of Wands. They really want to experience everything. Family is like absolutely top of the list for this person. It has to be without you and um, especially for those that are, you know, still not in a committed relationship, you're not living together, they miss you when you are guys away from one another. Fear of failure. Um, yes, I feel this daydreaming has a lot to do with this feel of fear of failure. This person really does want this connection to, you know, dissolve or them to disappoint you. Seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So, um, you know, for some of you, you might be still talking to other people. Um, and that's why this person in the next couple of weeks will be mainly sort of <laughs> literally daydreaming about this relationship with you. 
for those of you that are, you know, together with this person, you need to know that they are really, um, really dying, like literally, this is, this is pain, this is full on pain. I did show you this, they are really dying to take it to the next level. They have pure romantic feelings, they are totally in love. Aquarius, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if that resonates. Again, subscribe to my channel. It helps me to build this channel. And thank you for your time again. Goodbye for now.